is Dr. Paul Costantino. Um, I was the unit coordinator for a third year uh, medical microbiology unit. The challenge for these students was to go into third year uh, with a minimal clinical microbiology um, training up to that point of their course and basically they undergo this one semester of training and then they depart the university for two semesters of work experience. So the challenge was to basically get them ready for their work experience, um, two semesters of it, um, in very little time. And the main aspect of what we're trying to teach them is the recognition of colony morphologies of bacteria growing on plates. And while there's um, plenty of information in textbooks and on the web, a lot of the time that information are static images, whereas with the technology that we've incorporated this year, which was the purchase of two very large 65 inch plasma televisions connected to two high definition video cameras. One of those was for looking at uh, culture plates and one of those was for attaching to a microscope uh, so that we could project microscopic images. But the principal focus here was to be able to look at the culture of these organisms on various plates. And the benefit was being able to video or show them live and being able to tilt the plates in the light and be able to see what if well, the, the, the characteristics of the colony morphology with the light reflecting off them, which is something you can't do with static images of whether they're in textbooks or on the internet. So in the very first prac of the semester, uh, I exposed the group to 35 different organisms, whereas traditionally they'd be exposed to maybe two organisms a week. Each individual had a different organism. And what we did was uh, go through all of these results, uh, all of these organisms growing on various culture media. And you can go, okay, give me your slide, right. take it over here, find the thing and then show everyone. Yeah. That's really handy. With more time, would have liked the students to come up individually and show the class their organism growing on their plates and what they'd worked out about their organism, what features they'd discovered. Uh, but owing to the time constraints, I actually engaged the, uh, that process and I took the students' plates, their results, and showed them to the whole class, talked about what was the important features. And from the video system, we collected static images of all the different media of these organisms with annotations describing what all the important features were. And while I acknowledged that video images would be better, again, time constraints prevented me from actually recording videos of every single organism. We also found unintended um, benefits in being able to display um, small vials and bottles and colour reactions in tubes and various other materials to the whole group. But on a day-to-day -day basis, yeah. this gets used all the time. Okay. Documents, yeah. tests, plates, you know, you name it. So there was some un unintended benefits and I also found the system quite beneficial for um, showing um, pieces or like tabular information that maybe wasn't in their uh, lab manual, so using it like a document projector. The students were very impressed with the system. All semester I received uh, you know, verbal feedback saying how wonderful it was. These are some of the things that they were asked to evaluate. Uh, I feel that using the video projection system in the practical classes positively enhanced my learning of the material in this course and out of 52 students, 100% of them agreed with that statement. 100% of them also agreed with the following couple of statements. Overall, I found the quality of the images and the video materials to be sufficient for the learning of the material. The resolution of the macroscopic images, which is the agar plates and the, and the colony morphologies, which is the main intended purpose, um, was sufficient for the learning of the material and again 100% of them agreed with that. While one of our academics was visiting the students on work experience, um, they commented how much the unit prepared them for their work experience. So uh, overall I have to rate the whole exercise as a, a glowing success. Mm -hmm.